Oops. Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. It's our mini coolant test kit. 20 years or so, well, let's see, 14 years ago. I was asked by a customer to look into coolant, coolant health, coolant maintenance and whatnot. And so we did and found out it's it's much, much more important than we ever thought. Uh, important in terms of machine life, quality of the operation and whatnot. The problem was we had to develop a way to test it. We came up with a, what's a really simple, easy way to test it. A couple of, couple of nice tools. These are about, I think the kit's about 12 bucks, 14 bucks. The girls are trying to do the math now. But anyway, you get a pH test strip. We'll send it, we'll, we'll include five of these. They're colored. What you do is you dip them in something like your Diet Coke. Dip them in your Diet Coke. Hold them up to the color to compare it. And when the colors are close, that gives you some idea. In this case, Diet Coke has a pH of maybe eh, about, looks like about four. Four on this. Four is pretty acidic, which would be about right. We have also this, a bacteria and fungus test kit. All right. You unscrew this. Don't touch it. Dip it in the coolant. Pour it back out. Set it here, put it on a shelf for two, three, four days out of the direct sunlight. Then you count the little dots that grow on it. The third thing we have is this, a 250 milliliter graduated cylinder. This is, this is pretty inexpensive plastic, but we wanted to keep it down. We can sell you a nice Pyrex glass one for a lot more money. What you do, you fill this out of the, the, the spray, wherever the coolant comes. What you want to do is you want to measure the coolant going on to the work. Two things. One, you want to know how it affects the work. Two, that's the stuff that gets sprayed around. Fill it up to 250 milliliters, the, the top here, and let it sit. Easy enough. What you'll see almost immediately is it'll start to set out, separate out. You'll see the real heavy stuff float to the bottom. You'll see the, the light oils and greases float to the top. Then there'll be a, an area probably in here someplace where it's still mixed together. And you may see stuff floating in here. If you see long worm-like stuff, like the floaties in your eyes maybe or something, that's bacteria or fungus, probably bacteria. Um, let it sit and you'll see when you get down to the... Oh, this has a plastic stand. You can use or not, but you can see it. You get down to here where you can see at the bottom how much solid particles you have. You will see at the top how much oils and grease you have. So that is it. Easy, inexpensive. Run this. If everything looks good to you, fine. If your pH is where the manufacturer says it's supposed to be, you're good there. Bacteria or fungus. I have seen shops that had zero, nothing, no bacteria, no fungus, nothing. I have seen shops where there were too many little globules here to count. What you do is you, you, when you put it in like that, you're, you're trapping individual bacterium and they all grow colonies. So that tells you how many bacteria you've got on this. How clean do you want your coolant? How much oil and tramp oil and grease do you want in it? How many fine particles do you want in it? Obviously the less the better. but this is an easy, simple way for you to test. That's it. Thanks.